Hello everyone, I am Bishy Dio, and we are playing some more Yakuza 4 today. I've already done this dialogue last Friday, but because of the way I ended last stream, it didn't save after um, I got through all this dialogue, because I didn't save. So we're just gonna speedrun all of this, because we've seen it already. So I'm gonna try to get us back to speed as quick as I can. I can't skip this. Oh, I can! <laughs> I've never tried to skip the dialogue before! <laughs> They're just like, ah, me. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's get that perfect shot. Looking for that perfect shot? Then have I got the newsletter for you. This week brings three beauties. First up, we have a girl asking for donations in the hotel district. Folks there are too poor to give much of anything. Good luck, kid. And for number two, a flirty couple tries their hand at a UFO catcher at the Club Sega in Theater Square. Here's his chance to show off a little and win her heart. Finally, number three. Danger near West Park. The area is under construction, so why all the bicycles? I smell trouble waiting to happen. Alright, we got three revelations we can do. But the very first thing that's gonna happen when we get out of here is a guy has been abducted. Uh, I forget his name, but he kind of runs this area. I know him, but like I don't remember his name, because I'm very bad at remembering names. But y'all know that by now. <laughs> we've been we've been around before. This ain't our first Yakuza Rodeo. <laughs> Yep. Machan, help! It's Dad. You gotta help my dad. What's wrong? They took him away. Who did? What happened? These scary guys burst into Homeland and harassed us about a woman named Nadine. Do you know who they were? No, but I think I know where they headed. Somewhere off of San Rio Avenue. Please, Machan. You gotta save my dad. Don't worry. I'll get him back in one piece. You just head back to that restaurant where it's safe, okay? Yada. No! I'm going to. I had a feeling you'd say that. Fine. But we've gotta hurry. Think you can keep up? Of course I can. By the way, Machan, I brought these for you in case you were tired. I hope you like them. Stamina and X, toughness C. You're the best. Now let's get going. I'm right behind you. Okay, this is where we left off last time. Now we are caught up. Oh, there he is. Boy. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know any Nadine. <laughs> We're in no hurry, old man. How about we take a trip to our office and jog your memory there? I have nothing to say to you. Now keep your filthy hands away from me. Come on, guys. Do I really need to remind you of the legal ramifications for abduction? Or are you actually that dumb? Mm -hmm. Who the hell are you? Does it matter? All you need to know is I'm taking Zao-san back. This might get dangerous, Meihua. Hang tight for a minute. Alright, assholes. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Alright, a-holes! Let's have a little... a little fisticuffs. <laughs> Yeah! Break his arm! Wait, let me grab this one. I like that move. Rave! Oh no. I just want to rave. Rave, 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 rave. Don't get angry. The the way their head tilts back all the way <laughs> makes me feel like their neck breaks. Hey, they hurt you any? Yeah. No, I'm fine. Didn't mean to get you involved. 
They were looking for a woman named Nadine, right? Is she your buddy or something? Mm. Nadine. Came here from the Philippines to seek better financial opportunities. But the authorities found out she was working illegally, and now they're trying to chase her down. Then she sought help from the Asian Gateway, I'm assuming. Ah. Correct. She was actually at the restaurant at the time those thugs showed up. Luckily, she was in the back room and got the hell out of there as soon as she heard the commotion. Alright, then who were those people just now? Not the authorities, that's for sure. My guess is they're responsible for, for bringing illegal immigrants into the country. In other words, human traffickers. They must be afraid that if Nadine gets arrested, she'll lead the police right back to them. Makes sense. But I doubt she'll be coming this way anymore. Gonna be a real pain in the ass to find her. Yeah. There is one method you can try. Yeah, I'm all ears. So, there's this fortune teller over on Tenkaichi Street. Maybe she could help you track Nadine down. A fortune teller? That's seriously the best you can come up with? Or were you just kidding? Oh, it's no joke. In fact, this lady is known for being freakishly accurate with her predictions. Kinda spooky, if you ask me. Sure sounds spooky, but whatever. If you're the one who's recommending it, then I guess I have nothing to lose. Where's this place exactly? Ah. Middle of Tenkaichi Street, right next to a host club called Stardust. Okay, here's hoping fortune's on our side, huh? Alright. So I think this is a sub-story. Let me see. Yeah, it's a sub-story. Okay. But it's like a sub-story that you're kind of forced to go on. Alright, that was Stardust. I guess we can just keep progressing this because we've already started it. But there is another sub-story up there. And like I said, there's three revelations we can do too. But we'll just take our time with it. I was trying to avoid story on Friday for those of you who couldn't make it on Fridays to my streams. Um, it was kind of unavoidable at some points, but we haven't advanced that much. But uh, from now on, we're just going to be doing normal, like, equal parts story and sub-story. Just trying to get through everything and do as much as I can. Oh, there's actually two sub-stories up north. Okay, Stardust. It should be over here across from Serena. Yeah. Alright. So we just need to go this way. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I just do the Stardust? Nope. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me read this again. Okay, near Stardust. I think... Oh! Yeah, this is it. Naomi, yeah. So, I've heard about Naomi in previous games, but I don't think I've ever actually gone to her. <laughs> it's just something I didn't bother trying. Um, so this will be my first time, I think. Uh, see Naomi. I might have forgotten if I saw her, like, for a short cutscene or something, but... Unless she was in Y0 in a sub-story, because I remember in my premium adventure, I went to go talk to a fortune teller as Kiryu, and she predicted <clears throat> everything that happened in the later games. Um, and that at that point, I had already played the later games, so I caught the references, but... Because looking at her, she seems a little familiar. Oh, that was a different fortune teller. Okay, I just remembered a fortune teller. Welcome, welcome. What can Naomi's amazing psychic powers do for you today? I'm looking for a Filipino woman who's gone missing. Her name's Nadine. Nadine, you say? Was she your sweetheart? You must let go of what is gone. Accepting the inevitable is simply a part of life, young man. Are you going to help me or not? My friend Zao-san over in Little Asia said you have the power to see the unseen. Yes, but my services do not come cheap, Detective Tanimura. You know who I am? <laughs> and he has like a name tag. <laughs> what sort of psychic would I be if I didn't at least know that? Naomi sees all. Knows all. Right. Okay then. Do you know where Nadine is? What are you doing? Silence! The great and powerful Naomi must concentrate. Yes, yes. I see a name. Saki-chan. You should go ask Saki-chan. Saki-chan? She will give you the information you seek. You're not giving me the runaround, are you? Hm. 
If you do not trust my powers, you can take your business elsewhere. <laughs> Fine. Then just tell me where I can find this Saki-chan. Near Pink Street. She'll be wearing a purple scarf. Thanks. If this goes well, you'll have yourself a new customer. Hm. Come again. Alright. Uh... Pink Street. Okay. I remembered the scarf, but not the street. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's see what this is about. Knowing Yakuza series, I'm not sure uh, how I'm gonna feel about this. So that's Saki-chan, huh? Well, I guess no one explicitly said what kind of woman she'd be. And a purple scarf? Couldn't I have gotten some other clue? An accessory that anyone could wear isn't exactly a distinguishing feature. Hey there. Would you happen to be Saki-chan? Oh, hey there yourself. Don't tell me. You were about to use a pickup line, weren't you? Isn't he adorable, folks? Who are you talking to? Actually, I'm looking for somebody. A woman named Nadine. Oh, shit. Uh... Hey, get back here. I'm gonna wait till the sub story's over to say my piece about this. Thing. Oh shit. Whoopsies. Uh, our HP is still higher though. I think you have the wrong idea. I'm not after Nadine. In fact, I'm trying to help her. Are you really? Cross my heart. So what's up with the whole chase sequence as soon as you saw my badge? That's kind of meta. <laughs> Are you hiding something? Well, the thing is, I help people. Help them how? I use my connections to help foreign women when the cops or criminals come for them. So I take it you know Nadine then. What would you do if you found her? Let me put it this way. She'll be dead if I don't find her first, and I'd like to get her home safe before that happens. Alright. I know where she is. I'm actually the one looking after her. Great. Can you take me to see her, then? Well, you do seem like a decent guy. Alrighty, Pooh. You just follow me. So, you're Nadine? Yes. He says he's here to help you, dear. Really? Yep. Had a heck of a time trying to find you, too. Nice work. Mm. He's not out of trouble just yet. Those creeps have her passport, and she can't get home without it. You mean... the human traffickers? I take it you've run into them already. Well, it's not only trafficking they do. They're in charge of managing the women they bring in, too. Managing? In what sense? They take the women's passports so they can't escape, and then give them just enough money to eke out a meager living. They're essentially modern-day slave drivers. Ugh, that's terrible. I hate bastards like that the most. Do you have any idea where they are? In a dilapidated food warehouse on the docks. I want to go home to the Philippines. Don't worry. I'll get your passport back. You will? Yep. Just leave it to me. We'll go to the docks, do this... I don't know if it'll finish by then. It's a taxi. Golf course? Oh no. I kinda wanna try the golf course because I know it was hell in Y3 and it'd be funny if it was hell in this one. I'm I'm sure that it's better. Right? 
I, I never really play the golf games anyway, but okay, let's go to the docks. Golf, do it. Okay, maybe after the after this, after the docks. I can try it. I can try it for fun. Golf is ten times easier than it was in Y3. Ball no longer bounces off the ball like it did in Y3. Just the controls were uh, really difficult for me to get a handle on. And then Y3 forced you to play the golf game for, uh, I think, plot or sub-story. Like, you had to do it. So, <laughs> I was just like sitting there like, when will it end? When will it be over? But we can try it in this one. Food warehouse on the docks, huh? And those must be the guys who took Nadine's passport. Excuse me, I'm here for the passports you've been stealing from foreign women. Wait a minute, aren't you? Yeah, you bet I you bet I am. If you don't want to get hurt again, hand over the passports and make it quick. Yes, yeah, son of a bitch, you know that? Alright, you're up. Come on out. Hello? Oh, what? What the hell do you feed this guy? Milk? Beef? Growth hormones? <laughs> oh, he's super tall. Now pulverize this punk! <laughs> he is a wall of beef! <laughs> a meathead, if you will. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. Oh, I was gonna do a heat move. Oh, there we go. Like, I can't remember in Y3 if it was plot, sub-story, or even just, like, a forced tutorial. I just know I had to do it in Y3 for some reason. And then I never did it again after that because it was so bad. <laughs> No one is beefier than Sidemo. True, true. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. How many times must I say it? Give me the passports. Fine, just take the damn things. Just to let you know, I got a call from Nadine this morning. She got home safe and sound. Good to hear. I hope this means fewer migrant workers like her will suffer through the same shitty experience. I don't mean to be a sourpuss, but even though you busted up those jerks at the warehouse, this kind of thing will still go on. Why do you say that? Because men like that are everywhere. They're only after one thing, the almighty Yen, and they'll stop at nothing to get it, even if it means running, ruining countless lives. There has to be someone at the top pulling the strings. You're saying there's a mastermind of the sex industry, a ringleader making millions off the lives of female migrant workers? Awful as it is, that doesn't sound too far-fetched. Right. Every power structure has its person in charge. Do you have any leads on where this ringleader might be? Not really, but I have heard those traffickers drop the name Bridge before. That could be a clue. Wait, did you just say Bridge? Oh, you know him? My dad left notes about someone named Bridge all throughout his notebook. Oh, sorry. I should probably clarify what I mean by that. No need. I know all about you, Detective Tanimura of the KPD. How did you... I heard about you from Naomi-san, the fortune teller. Tell me, what specifically did your father's notebook say about Bridge? Apparently, Kay and my dad were investigating him. And who is Kay? Another detective who worked with my dad. Damn, I never would have guessed that Bridge was some sort of sex-trafficking kingpin. This could get ugly. Do you intend to find this bridge and expose him? Oh yeah, especially if this is the same guy my dad was after. Still don't have any idea who Kay is, though. Have you done your research? I looked up all the detectives who ever worked at a case with my dad, but none of their names started with Kay. And there's no file on Bridge either. I think Kay and my dad were investigating Bridge off the record. 
You know, the more you look into this, the more you're going to uncover about your past. What are you trying to say? Taigi Tanimura was my senior detective. You were... a detective? Judging from what you just said, I'm sure you know Taigi wasn't my actual dad, right? Mm-hmm. And you know who my real dad is? I can't comment on that. All I can say is, if you don't want to get hurt by what you find, I suggest you leave this case alone. Hmm. I won't get hurt. That's impossible. I have a heart of stone! Oh? See, no matter who my real dad is, I'm still gonna be the same guy. Let the past be the past, you know? By the way, why do they call this guy Bridge? Couldn't tell you, hun. I see. Well, I guess this is just one more case my dad left me to solve. No matter what, I'm gonna find this bridge. And bring his ass to JUSTICE! I hate to be that guy, but that scarf clashes with the whole outfit. <laughs> well, it's not her fault. Blame the devs. <laughs> Blame the devs. I guess I'll just say, uh, that's not the first time that the Yakuza series has portrayed, like, a, a trans person in kind of a, a caricature kind of way. I'm not really okay with it. Uh, there was one moment, I think, in Y3 where they had a transgender character that was treated pretty well, like, it was handled well. But aside from that, like, any time that comes up, you know, it's just not really that great, so... I'll just say that, but... I, I don't like the fact that that happened when I'm wearing this today, but... <laughs> like, at least they didn't say any, uh, like, negative stuff in the dialogue, it's just, like, there, so... This is KPD Dispatch. Homicide reported in front of the Mock Bowl bowling alley near Theater Square. We have positive ID on victim. Koichi Yabe, a writer residing in Kamarocho. All officers in the area respond immediately. Murder. That's serious. Hanimoto here. You listening to your radio? Get your ass over here. Now. I don't get it. Why are you calling me about this? I didn't say for you to ask questions. Just get over here. NOW! Yeah, yeah. Be right there. Okay. Keep getting interrupted. Let's go to Theater Square. The hell? Oh well. Guess I'll head over to Mockbowl. Alright. What do you got? Thanks for your hard work, Tiny Mother Son. We would like to offer you this reward as a token of our appreciation for all of the incidents you've resolved. Thank you very much. A toughness infinity. Oh, okay. We just get random stuff. No. Thank you for all your help. So how many? Five every time? Oh, seven. Yeah, every five you manage to take care of, you'll, I'll give you something to thank you. Okay. So we need uh, three more. And then we can get another item from him. Let me save after all that dialogue stuff earlier. Hey, I'm here. Yeah, so the stiff's a writer for the sex industry. Since you seem to be such an expert on the subject, I thought you might have some dirt on him. Did you call me out here just to give me shit? <laughs> oh, and what was his name again? Make an effort to remember what you hear on the dispatch, Tanimura. His name's Koichi Yabe, 35 years old. Huh. Don't know who that is. You sure about that? I'm telling you, I've never heard of him. Uh. Alright then. Thanks. You can go now. That's it. The murder victim is a sex industry writer. Something stinks about this. Tiny mother here. Hey, it's me. Hey, Saki-chan. I heard Yabe was killed. Not bad for a former detective. You got your info quick. So, what do you know about this Yabe? I wanted to talk to you about that. Let's meet at Shellac. Okay, Shellac it is. Alright. That is... Across the map. Yeah, all the way across. I 
was surprised how respectfully, for the Yakuza series at least, uh, they handled Saki's character in this. It was kind of polarizing oh. going from the cut substory in 3, yeah, the character of Saki in 4, and how they handled the subject matter here as slightly more of a character trait than that of a punchline. My 4 is the last game to do this that you'll play, so yay, no more feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, well I'm happy about that then. Like, the way that they treated the character, um... There was one character in Y3, wasn't it? That, uh, there was like a whole cutscene with Kiryu. Not the one you're talking about that was cut. That was bad. That was really bad. Um, but like the wholesome one where he was talking to a trans woman and she talked about her struggles and how she had a crush on someone, didn't know if he would like her back. Stuff like that. I think that was handled really well, but everything aside from that has kind of been like, just like borderline, you know, it's not good. Um, like I said, they they haven't had any dialogue that's really derogatory or anything towards Saki in this so far. I'll have to see how I feel about it overall once uh, like Saki's part in this game is done. But just just the fact of how they they like modeled her is kind of like a, a caricature, I guess. So that's kind of why it's an issue. Okay, shellac. This is not shellac. What is it? Turns out Yabe-san was on the cusp of something dangerous. What was it he investigated? Not what, but who? A woman from Hong Kong. Huh. I take it she's not just some random lady. Right. Rumor has it she has ties to a certain crime syndicate, and she's in charge of illegal immigrant workers. All of them female. So, she's a crime boss then, and the syndicate's supposed to be... A powerful underground intelligence network spread throughout Asia. Apparently, they recruit girls from poor families and make them buy fake passports and visas. Then they force them to work like slaves to work off the loans used to buy them. And when they're used up, they're history. Don't tell me. Bridge is the one running the show? That's my guess. Any idea where this crime boss lady might be? I'm not entirely sure, but I hear the syndicate has an office near the arcade in Nakamichi Alley. I'm sure this goes without saying, but be careful, okay? Thanks. I'll try. Yeah, there is plenty for us to do today. <laughs> like, aside from plot, there is definitely a lot to do. Last Friday I was kind of struggling finding things to do without uh, encroaching on, on plot stuff. That's typically how it goes with the Yakuza games. In like the first chapter or two, it's kind of limited on, on what you can actually do in the game. And just kind of wants you to go through a lot of cutscenes first. I don't know, like, it, it just bothers me in a general sense. Like, when I see things like that, it's not like I'm feeling like really, really, really like sad inside. It's more so just disappointment that it's there. And I know it's kind of common in games from this era, because I mean, you know, the video game industry has been pretty bad about that kind of topic for a long time, so I'm not expecting it to be like super super uh, inclusive and great. I think overall it's not horrible, but there are definitely moments in the Oxus series that are, you know, transphobic and things like that, um, which is not great. They have cut a lot of stuff out, like in Y3, what Kung Fu mentioned earlier, they cut out a very transphobic uh, substory. Uh, I'm not even going to mention it, you can probably find it online somewhere, but uh, it was really really bad. So I'm glad that they do stuff like that, uh, at least. And, uh, I'm glad that you mentioned that, Kung Fu, that at, at least in the later games after 4, there's not really going to be anything like that. So I hope that's true, and, uh, we don't have to see anything else like that, but... I mean, it's also important to bring attention to that kind of thing, because, uh, if you don't, it will not get fixed. So that might have been why they actually cut that content from, uh, the games, because it's just not acceptable, uh, nowadays, thankfully. So... It's a shame the cut sub story is tied to Mac though. There's a cutscene after you finish all of Mac's training that involves that character and results in Mac finally getting his perfect shot. Just wish they would have replaced it with something else instead of removing it completely. Now Mac is just forever in the search of the perfect shot. Remaster has been pretty good in almost every other aspect though. Yeah, so I didn't know that. I remember he was looking for the perfect shot in that game and it never really happened. And I didn't realize it was because it was connected to that cutscene. I mean, it's for the best that they cut it just in general, but yeah, I agree, they, they probably should have found a way to replace it, but, I mean, 
for the remasters. I don't think they really added anything. They probably don't even... I don't even know if they have, like, the, the models for this game. Like, if they have access to stuff like that. So I can kind of understand why they wouldn't actually go in and add anything to replace it. But yeah, it is unfortunate that his story is just kind of, like, cut short. But it's, it's for the best in the long run, overall. Oh, and who might you be? Doesn't matter. I'm looking for the boss. Some lady from Hong Kong. Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play stupid with me. Just bring her here and there won't be any trouble. Ah, forgive me. Where are my manners? Hey, fellas! Oi. Come help me escort our guest! Our friend here is requesting a one-way trip to the afterlife. Shall we oblige? I get that your boss is a tough nut to crack, but you really don't have to make things so difficult. Huh? Give him hell, boys! They got Thanos. Yep. Just a quick snap, and they're done. Whoops! Oh, he got me before I could hit him. Dang it! Mr. Purple Shirt. Purple Jacket, Red Suit Man. Spin kick. Whoops. Should I keep moving on? Okay. Got him with a table. The turns have tabled. So, a sex industry writer named Koichi Yabe was investigating a madam from Hong Kong and it got him killed. What? Yabe's dead? So you knew him? Ugh. I did. Tell me where this boss of yours is. She went back to Hong Kong this morning. I see. But she had to skip town to keep a lid on Yabe's murder. Let's just say she learned too much about the organization for her own good. Are you talking about the organization that Bridge runs? Mm -hmm. Bridge? What? You never heard the name? We're not important enough to know what's going on up top. All I know is that the boss leaked something to Yabe. Now that Yabe's dead, I guess we'll never know what that was. Yeah. Don't be so sure about that. Yabe apparently hid whatever he compiled somewhere. Really? Where? Dunno. The organization's in a frenzy trying to find it. It's funny to me that he's just divulging all of this information, like, he's electing to do that. <laughs> Interesting. Are you gonna go look for it too? You bet. I imagine it's some pretty valuable info. You ought to stay out of it. Or you'll end up just like Yabe. Don't you worry about me. After giving me all these details, you should be watching your own back. Yeah! <laughs> you didn't have to say all that. I knew you would return. I'm trying to find the evidence Yabe, that sex industry writer, left behind. <sighs> That's no ordinary information you seek. It's going to cost you. How much? 50,000 yen, and not a yen less. Greedy, aren't we? Do I have it? Man, I hope she gets this right. Oh, I had enough. Okay. I was still thinking we were in, uh, like, emergency cabaret money mode. <laughs> but I guess we've gotten money from, like, plot and substories and stuff. Naomi will not disappoint. <sighs> yes, yes! I see a place. A bar frequented by the one they call Yabe. Are you telling me you actually see that in your ball of glass there? Silence! Do you doubt the great and powerful Naomi? No, it's not that. It's just kind of weird. Anyway, what's the bar's name? So as bar. The pool bar in the underground mall? Correct. Thanks. I'll be back if this leads a good one. You? Oh, it's Minami Zawa. Oh, Tanimura-san. Ready to tell me about the girls at Shine and Jewel? Uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Wait, Shine and Jewel? I've only been going to the one at Jewel. 
Uh oh. I guess I gotta go to Shine now. This is where I need to go, right? Hold on. Yeah, so it's far. Okay, I'll just talk to this person. Welcome. Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to know a writer named Yabe, would you? He writes about the sex industry? Oh, him. He was here two days ago. I see. Well, he's dead now. <laughs> wow. Hey, you know that guy that you've seen before? Yeah, well, he's kind of dead. Sorry. No. It's because he got involved with that woman. You're not talking about the woman from Hong Kong, are you? You know her? I know she's part of a crime ring. Yes. Apparently she gave Yabe-san some rather vital information, to put it lightly. That's what I don't get. She must have known that would put her life in danger. A lady in the throes of love tends to throw caution to the wind. Wait, she and Yabe were in love? It's more like Yabe was a lady's man. Ah, I get it. He must have seduced the information out of her. And then he paid the price. Well, he's supposed to have hidden his information somewhere. Any idea where that might be? What do you intend to do with it? I'll use it to crush the Syndicate once and for all. Can I trust you? You can. I'll do whatever it takes to prove it. Okay then. He said it was in a locker in the underground mall. Thank you. Yabasan gave his life for that information. Don't let it go to waste. You weren't in love with him too, were you? He was just a customer to me. That's all. Right. Well, see ya. Oh god. She has like unrequited love with this dude and he's like, by the way, uh, that dude, he's just dead. Like, stone cold, like, in the ground, 6800, like, he's dead. Sorry. Uh-oh. They beat us to it. Damn. These bastards were one step ahead of me? I'll be taking that bag off your hands. Ah, so you know what this is. Glad you showed up then. His name is literally Tough Guy. Now we can get rid of you. Yeah, I saved that club stuff till almost end game when I had more money and was able to do it for easier. Yeah, at this point, I guess I might wait. I don't know. I wouldn't mind going and doing it, but like we have a lot of sub stories and revelations to do now, so I'm less inclined to take time away from that to do cabaret stuff. But once we reach the finale, um, I can't guarantee I'm gonna feel like doing every single uh, cabaret information sub story, but we can at least finish the one I started in Tiny Mara. So this is what Yabe gave his life for. A pile of papers. Hmm? There's something else in here. A ring and a letter. It says, Tomitsuko. That's the bartender. You should take these to her. He was planning on celebrating your birthday with you. Oh, God. I begged him not to get involved with that horrible woman. I guess he was going to use the inf info to write an expose on the syndicate. What exactly did he find out? Details of the syndicate's activities, recruiting Asian women, counterfeiting passports, arranging fake marriages with Japanese men, operating brothels. Is that enough to take down the syndicate for good? I'm not 100% sure this would qualify as conclusive evidence. But it could play a big role in exposing their operations, which could eventually lead to bringing them down. Good. Hey, Monosan, would you take this for me? I have the dragon. Yeah, they always wore it as a sort of lucky charm. It hurts too much to keep it now. Okay, then I'll hold on to it for you. And I promise to use this information to get rich. Yabe-san won't have died in vain. Thank you. Isn't the Eye of Dragon just like a gambling item or something? I know it has to do with one of the mini games. Or at least I think so. Maybe it's for crafting. But if it's for gambling, it's just like, this was his most treasured object that he had for good luck. And then he gave it to me, but it's too painful to keep now. You use it. You take it. I know you'll use it for good. 
Like gambling. Okay, let's upgrade abilities. I have accidentally been hoarding these points. Alright, stand still during battle to replenish your energy with the spirit of the calm but heat Um. Hmm. Oh, he sat. Sat. Oh, sorry. Maybe. This would increase our rush combo. Since I have a lot saved up, I should get a expensive one. One that costs a lot of points. I think that's the most expensive. Oh, here's one. An additional finish to finishing blows. Mastery may unlock a follow up technique. Immediately after any finishing blow connects. I could probably do that. Let's see the one again. Yeah. I like both. I kind of want more heat move stuff though. So yeah, I think I'll get that. Still have five. So I could still do the other one actually. This one decreases the difficulty of doing that heat move. Maybe. I think I'm gonna get the expensive one though. Let's just do that. And then we have one left over. I'll just get this. Okay. Now... I guess that's it for now. It'll probably be more later. So we are free to do whatever. So let's do some revelations. And then we can do those sub-stories because they're marked on the map, so they're easy to find. Essence of combos is super good. Every finishing blow is heat action. Alright, where's the first one? Hotel District is up north. Club Sega, Theater Square, that's closer. West Park. Okay, so I think the Club Sega one is the closest. Let's do that one first. It's gonna be up north. We can probably just use the taxi, actually. It'll be faster. Oh, the golfing! Okay, let's do the golfing first. Sorry, I forgot about that. Okay, let's try golfing for, like, a little bit. I'll see if I lose my mind. Tournament? Let's practice first. I don't think I should enter a tournament first thing. Oh, and it's free. Perfect. Uh, we'll just start at the top. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Gotta go with that. We're Tiger Woods now. Oh, God. Alright, uh, R1L1, I only have one. Okay, triangle change shot range, display scores, start to power. The exit minigame is a very important one for me to remember. <laughs> so I can leave whenever I want to. Okay. Taiga Woods. That'd be perfect if we were sizable right now. Uh, tutorial? I guess so. Use the left stick to adjust the shot direction. Okay. L1, R1 to change clubs. Oh, I see. Triangle to alter the shot range to half the distance. Directional buttons to change the impact point. Some points can put a spin on the ball. Press X to get the cursor moving. Press X again to stop the cursor and set the shot power. Okay, so this part, the, the power meter kind of took me a second to figure out last time, so just give me a minute. Setting the power, press X just as the cursor is aligned with the ball to deliver optimal impact. Okay. I think I understand. 
Let's try it for reals. So we just want to, yeah, we just want to go straight ahead. It was lined up perfectly a second ago, I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> Almost. Oh. Okay, why did it go over there? So let me retry that. Yeah, I can't change the club, actually. Ruined it again. Oh god, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> a swing and a miss! Why is he... Doing that. Okay, maybe I'm not doing it right. Why is he pushing it all the way over there? Okay, hold on. Yeah, he keeps he keeps doing it over there. Okay, something something. I'm doing something wrong again. Oh sweet god. <laughs> oh no. What am I doing wrong? It's like the same- see, that was- I- I timed it perfectly. The wind. Okay. Alright. Uh... Oh, okay. I was misreading it. Came from all the way over there. So, to compensate, I should do this? It's pretty extreme. No, now he's- oh. Oh. Wait, now is it blowing that way? Okay, I'm assuming it's meaning that it, it is blowing that way. Because that's the direction it's going, or is it where the arrow is that way? <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's going to the right, okay, so like an arrow. Alright, alright. So now I want to do that. <laughs> Thump it made. <laughs> oh God! Why well, don't golf in real life or Yakuza games? Now, that was just a mistake there. Whoops! Whoopsies! Uh oh! Uh oh! Thump. Okay. Uh. Maybe just slightly. Like. Strong enough. It's still going to the left a lot. I don't know. Because if it's blowing to the right, then I want to put it over here so that it's pushed this way. But when I do that, it actually goes to the left too much. He's just- he's just getting a feel for it. I got like kind of close that first time and it landed on the rough I think. I could have probably just continued from there. This is just sad. Alright, now some something's happening now. Not anymore, we're really in it now, huh? Okay, let's do this instead. 
going to the right. So we want to do this. Let's push to the right. Now he's missing. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I think I know what's wrong. No, that's not it. Yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> Hold on, let me... Let me just refresh that. Wait. Why was he missing? I I'm not really doing anything differently. I guess I guess that's different and that's why he's missing. Now I'm just not able to time it. Oh. Okay. Let's just work with it. Do I have to look up a video tutorial of this freaking mini game? <laughs> Alright. Next shot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. See, this kind of happened with Y3, but after a while I figured out what I was doing wrong. See, now he's not even hitting it. Did I change something? Uh, oh, did I need a different club? Uh, hmm. See why I don't do golfing in these games? <laughs> oh, I, I prefer darts. Oh. There's just something I'm not understanding with this. That's why it's not working. There's something I'm doing wrong. It's gonna be like boop 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 and then finally I'll get near it maybe. On the second one. Okay, wait, wait. You think I know what you mean? It's just not doing it now. Okay, okay. See, that's what it was. Alright, thank you, Flame. Let's, uh, let's restart. Let's start fresh. They did the same thing as last time. First cursor is the power, second is the accuracy when you go to swing, second cursor I think tries to line up where it starts from. Okay. I didn't play golf much on this here either. Yeah, like, I think eventually I just figured it out in three. <laughs> and I made the same stupid mistake this time. I prefer the driving range to this. Thankfully, it's back in five. Honey, was that a golf ball flying through the window and into my soup? Yes, dear. It seems that little kid pretending to be a police officer got his hands on the golf clubs again. Oops. That was just me spamming X. Ooh. Okay, now- now we're talking here! Now we're talking! Yeah! <laughs> Alright! If I can get this to work... Woo! <laughs> oh. Nope, nope. Okay, we gotta go s like... Yeah, yeah. It's gotta be a shorter distance now. How do I do that? Uh, what is it again? Uh oh. There we go. Okay. Woo! Woo! Too strong! Too strong! Uh oh. Uh oh. We're at, we are closer though. Okay, it's gotta be very. No. <laughs> that was too weak. 
We, we can do it eventually. <laughs> we'll get there. Oh! Mm. <laughs> so close. <laughs> oh, that's too much! Oh, okay. Double bogey! <laughs> Oh god. Yeah, let's let's just keep practicing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I can't believe I made the same mistake. It has been a while since I played Y3 golf. The next shot, that's fine. Oh boy. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no! Okay, okay. Sand is bad! Oh, that's too much. Oh, that's too much! Oh! Oh! Okay! <gasps> okay. R. Okay. <laughs> Not horrible, I guess. Let's do... Let's go for the tournament. <laughs> oh my god. Let's just jump on in! I don't need to practice with like the 12 other uh, levels. Let's go. I think it costs money though. Five. We're about to waste 5,000 yen. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Now we cook it with gas. This is what we call character progression. We doing it. Yeah, I just I even though I read the tutorial, I think I didn't it didn't sink in that I have to press X two separate times. Just like last time, the same thing happened. But now I know. Now I know. <laughs> Uh oh! Oh no! Oh! Don't go for a swim. No, no swimming. <laughs> Woo! Ah! <laughs> All right. Um, let's play it safe and go over here. Not too strong. Not too strong. Don't go in the water. Okay. <laughs> now, if we do really strong, we might be fine. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Okay. A little stronger would have been better, huh? Oh yeah. Oh gosh. A little stronger. Don't screw me oh. over. No. <laughs> it screwed me over. Oh, that's too much. Oh no, it's okay. No. <laughs> no swimming. Hits the ball directly into the water. <laughs> I was trying to go away, away from the water. Are we at the bottom? Where is he? Yeah, we're at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Stress uwus are now in effect. Oh, not enough. That was not enough. Woo wee! At least we made it. Oh, okay. No sand. That's okay. Oh. <sighs> At least I got a nice shot in golf. Ah, oh, that's too much! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, we're not gonna win this tournament, but... Oop. Yeah. Double bogey! Ooh! Ooh-wee! Zoo-wee, mama! Almost. Watch your profanity. 
I really don't want to watch my profanity at the moment. Not, not really. Oh, especially with that mistake. <laughs> oh! Okay, we gotta go around, we gotta go around. This is not, this is not it. Nope. Oh, that was a nice one! Um, okay, no sand, no sand. Hey, Noroku, welcome! So this is what organized crime is like. Yeah, exactly. Uh-oh. See, now it's just because I'm not paying attention. Oh, sweet god. Maybe, maybe some more practice would help. Maybe, maybe more practice would have been a good thing. Maybe. Oh, we're not in the sand pit of hell, at least. Ooh, a little more would have been better. Oh, a little, a little much. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, oh, like how do I even? Okay. No. <laughs> Ooh. Oof. We can still do this, guys. We can still do it. I believe in myself. <laughs> Cause nobody else will. All right. Okay. Let's do that. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, sand pit? No? Okay. Okay. Almost there. Ah. Uh, that could have been better. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Completion of mini games requires being golf with a score of negative five. Did it hurt? Yes. Am I now equipped with an infinite ammo golden pistol? You betcha! <laughs> they really make you work for that though, huh? Oh, a little bit more. I need to be- I need to remember to not, like, do that so soon. Because with these ones I have to do it, like, as soon as I can. Oh, 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 nope. That was so close to the line. <laughs> I believe in you too. Lend Bishy your energy. Bishy, you're actually doing well, don't worry. You're not, but I just wanted to help. Your smug lies mock me. Oh. Woo! <laughs> okay. It is playing... I mean, not playing. It is blowing in that direction, so... It's kinda... I didn't realize that was there. Hoo wee, okay. You're next to a rock. Oh boy. You know what? I just realized what the problem is. Hold on. Oh wait. Oh no, never mind, never mind. Maybe? Okay, never mind. But this this would help me if I was up close. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh god. Okay. Oh. Oh, was that the wind? Ooh. No. <gasps> oh god. Is that a little bit too much? No? So you don't really want it to be on the line, because I passed the line and it didn't reach it. I think a big part of the reason for that is the wind, though. Oh, that might be too much, though. Oh no, okay. 
triple bogey. Hooey! Remember when I got that one par? Remember that? I remember. I have not been paying attention to the wind. But we are close to it now. Yeah, I have, I have to wait for that. So that one needs to be kind of strong. But this one shouldn't be. Maybe. Ooh, ooh, no, no. I think that was the wind. Ooh! Fun. Okay. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should do some more practicing. I haven't gotten a nice shot in a while. Almost. Ooh. Where is that? Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's not too bad. At least we're not in the sand. Oh god. Okay, that was a lot. Oh man. I should have turned on the half power one for that. I should do that now? Yes. Oh god. Oh, that wasn't even powerful enough. Okay. Not enough. The wind is messing me up. Okay, that might be too much. Oh, yep. Oh, shit. Too much. <laughs> oh, God. No, oh. Uh. Let's get it over with, man. Alright, so this is kind of pushing back on us. Uh, I haven't really messed with this. I just kind of changed the direction of it. I don't know how much that helps. This one is, I guess, going a little bit to the right. So, but also backwards. I don't know, let's try it. We want to do that if it it's better. Okay. Almost. Water? Yeah. Oh boy. Uh. Might be strong enough, but also might not be. Okay, same thing. Oh god. Oh, so close. Just barely made it across. If I didn't get that max power, I wouldn't have made it. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, uh, okay. Almost there. <laughs> Oh! Hello? That might have gone in if the flag wasn't there. <laughs> Triple bogey nonetheless, but <laughs> the last shot was pretty good. We can get better clubs at some point too, I think. I'm not that invested though. Almost. Ooh. How close are we? Almost there. Oh, okay, so the blue dot is kind of more like a goal and not necessarily where the hole is. Okay, so I actually got pretty close for that one. That was pretty good. Now this one... Uh... Oh no, I just realized. <laughs> it is in a body of water. Oh boy. You know what? I'm fine with that. I'm surprised we even made it onto the little island. Ah, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Is that good? Almost. That is probably too much. Oh, okay. Park! Okay. Alright. 
<laughs> Still at the up. Look at that. Plus 10 and plus 28. Damn, ninth place. <laughs> Look, he's so ashamed. He's so ashamed. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. Let me look with my special eyes. Okay, first revelation is Taimura. Oh god. Oh. Jumbo chicken. Oh, I think that's how it's supposed to work. Into another, make it fall. That seemed like the most likely one to me. <laughs> That's how I write in the notebook sometimes. <laughs> okay. I did it. Ooh. Oh, it's his little notebook. Oh, he made a little drawing? He's good at- he's good at drawing, then. One stuffed animal was sent flying in an arc. Then it hit another stuffed animal and knocked it down. If I throw one person into another with great force, I just might do damage to them both. It's a revelation. It might hurt more with the heel. Little diagram, essence of guillotine heel. I don't like zooming in on Oh, oh, oh. I gotta look here? Oh! No, it's a locker key! Huh. Okay, I didn't even see that! Oh, it's across here, okay. Backwards. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I guess that. I love that he has to think about it for a second. Dragon like Star Platinum. I like that. <laughs> he really drew it. Desperate to catch the runaway 500 yen coin, the man quickly thrust his hand backwards between his legs. This generated amazing torque, and he fell to the ground. If only I could apply this to a technique. Revelation. More power in this direction. The body will spin with great force. Hey, Lance. Welcome. Two hats. Let's not get crazy here. Oh, you haven't seen my third hat. <laughs> Learned essence of ball and chain. Get some babbage. Alright, there's one more revelation we can do uh, near West Park. Let's go in that direction. All the different revelation methods are cool, don't get me wrong. But there's something about the caveman style, carving it into a stump of wood that makes it my favorite. Yeah, that that's really good. I like Kiryu's and Saijima's revelations. I think it's really, really funny. Because I love that Kiryu is just like a blog. And then, of course, Saijima with his wood carving. But I like that each method of revelation matches the character. 
It's not all just them on their phones. The butterfly effect in action. <laughs> Instant karma. There's no match for hustle muscle. I was off guard. Karma's a bitch, huh? <laughs> I think that was the right one. Yes. Ooh. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Full of himself, a man made a high school girl cry. But, in the end, it was his own deeds that brought about his downfall. A surprise attack to the head from one's blind spot can knock somebody out. It's a revelation. A strike from an unseen position, faint afterwards. He's a good artist, actually. The essence of skull crushing. Okay, uh, East Shichifuku Street. Let's go break up that fight then. I don't want to ignore those, especially now that we're done with that. The revelations. Okay, there is a sub story there, so we might accidentally run into that, but let's try to get that dispatch. How far down does the street go? Yeah, all the way there. Let me check over there first. Oh, maybe this is it. I'm with the police. You ought to think twice about fighting in the middle of the street. Aw, oh, shit. Huh? Better back your police ass up, or you're gonna be the first one I take out. He sure took off in a hurry. Oh, boy. <laughs> Kung Fu has redeemed tiny rainbow cowboy hat. All right, it's coming back. We were only without it for but a mere moment. All right. <laughs> hat stays on. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> The burbs have spoken. Okay. Oh boy. Chase the guy who took off. Fight the guy with a big mouth. I'm gonna chase that guy. Get back here. Stop. Behind me. Come this night. What is Thank you for fighting the good fight. <laughs> Maybe you should tell me why you took off like that. I think I've seen you before. Sorry about that, Tanimura san. Listen, I'm a detective working undercover. I can't believe I got in a fight and somebody called it in. I'll never hear the end of this. Take this and forget the whole thing. Oh. Okay, we got some money. I mean, that's a really big reason why I should be doing those uh, dispatches, because you get money from them, or good items. Okay, what were we on our way to do before that? I don't really think anything. Let's do the sub-story over here. These are real cowboy hours. What are you taking a picture of? Give me that camera. Now we're gonna have a little chat right over there. I'm sorry. I never seen real Japanese Yakuza before. I just got a little excited and perhaps too carried away. Oh, how did I say English lines in White 3? I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry. I've never seen real Japanese Yakuza before. 
I just got a little excited, and perhaps too carried away. Oh yeah? Then just follow us. We'll teach you everything you ever wanted to know about Japan. <laughs> oh no. Hey, he said he's sorry. Just let him go. Hey, you mind your own goddamn business. Unless you want in on what we're about to teach this <laughs> this guy. Taking on a civilian and a tourist at that. Where's your sense of honor? You little shit. What the hell would you know about how we operate? Maybe we ought to educate you first. I think you read them like a robot voice. Kind of like the language audio lessons. Okay. I will try to do that. I think I gave Tanimura a specific voice at first too, but I kind of just lost it at this point. I like that! No, I can't grab it. Oh, no! Get up. No! Oh, Jesus Christ. Get away from me! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I can't grab him. Let's get a move on, boys. Thank you. Bruh, that just blew my mind. Was that real Aikido just now? You were like a samurai out there, taking out those dudes. Rock on, brother man. I understand this is all new to you and all, but why don't you put away that camera? It's not a good idea in this town. Oh, snap. That means you're a local, which, by definition, means you're familiar with the area, yes? Well, yeah. Why? Bam. Look at that sick karma payoff right there. It's gotta be fate, you know, running into my new tour guide like this. Buddy, your logic is loopy. And who said I'd be your tour guide? I've got stuff to take care of. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Come on, I'm sure you have at least some time to guide a helpless foreigner who doesn't know their right from their left in a totally unfamiliar city. That would be irresponsible. So why not take a chance and point me where I need to be? Am I not overly friendly enough? Besides... Besides what? I'll give you a fat tip. To be blunt, I'm filthy rich. <laughs> I think money is Tanimoto's language. Alright, I guess I could show you around. <laughs> but only for a little while, okay? Oh, so you're going for it after all, huh? Nice. Isn't that, like, flipping him off, what he just did? <laughs> I guess I should have brought up the prospect of money a little sooner, huh? Ha, uh, ha. Uh. Anyway, I'm Smith. Super honored to meet you, man. My name is John Smith. Likewise, I'm Tanimura. So, where is it you want to go? I came all the way to Japan, so I want to see something really Japanese, you know? Japanese, huh? Is there anything specific you're interested in? Yes! Yes! <laughs> there is, but I completely forgot the name of it. Let's see, what was it called? You tell me. Maybe try describing it? That way I can at least get an idea of what you want. Okay, well, it's a place people compete one-on-one -on -one in a traditional and intellectual tabletop game. Dungeons and Dragons. Game? Yeah. Didn't I pronounce that right? A traditional, one versus one, tabletop battle of intelligence. It's Paimajong. I hear it's a game for everybody. Men, women, boys, girls, you name it. Well, it could be one of several things. You've, you're probably talking about... A gambling hall, no. Video arcade, no. Shogi salon, pachinko park, yeah, shogi. Not Manjong, but shogi. One of the two. I think Mahjong, actually, you can have more than one person. 
I mean, more than two people, sorry. How about Shoten on Senryo Avenue? What? Huh? What's a Shoten? Somewhere that fits your description perfectly. I'm sure that's the place you mean. Uh... Yeah? You are? I don't know, man. Your confidence is pretty unnerving. But fuck it. Let's go check it out anyway. Bruh. Of course, as all people said in 2011. I can't believe they put bruh in this game. Yeah, I wonder what they're gonna... Like, how they're gonna change all this dialogue, because I know they're gonna do basically a patch for it, right? Smith, aka the canned bread of last names. <laughs> Nothing against any Smiths out there. Will Smith would like to know your location. <laughs> Richardson from 3 came back from the dead, is now shorter, missing glasses and pistols, and needs directions. <laughs> He's trying to live an honest life now. Well? Yes. Yes. This is it. This is exactly what I was talking about. What's the name of this game again? It's called Shogi. <laughs> ah ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. That's right. Shogi. The tension in here is so thick, you could cut it with a knife. This is some good shit, my dude. <laughs> he should've laughed like that! Well, he sounds satisfied. I'm happy for you. So, is it cool if I leave now? Well, if you wouldn't mind kicking it with me for a little longer. There is one more place I want to go, but that's it. Might as well see this through. Fine. Where to? I want to go somewhere where only men are allowed. Uh, I'm not quite sure I get it. You know what I mean. I forgot the exact name. Let's see here. It's a place where it's men only and everybody is naked. <laughs> they rub shoulders and communicate with each other. Something like that. Oh, the massage place? I guess? Rubbing shoulders? I guess? Drawing a total blank here. Oh, come on. You know what I mean. A men's only place where everybody's naked. Japan is- Oh, no, no! Uh, the, uh, hot springs. Japan is known for this. You said rubbing shoulders. You could be talking about a- Yeah, not- no, it's not the massage, it's a hot spring. And let's go to Yuno Sono Hot Springs. Yuno Sono Hot Springs. Yeah, a hot spring is the place to be if you want to get naked and communicate with other men. Sounds good to me. Then let's get cracking. Because in the massage parlor, it's just the person on the table and they have like a towel. Wahoo! A legit Japanese hot spring. Now this is what I'm talking about. Let's get naked and jump right in. Tani san you're coming in too, right? Er, no. I think I'll sit this one out. Alrighty, well, I'll be back after broing it up with the boys. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. Finally. Wait, aren't those guys? Yeah, those Yakuza from before. We ended up bumping into each other in the bath, and wouldn't you know it, we became total buds. <laughs> Nothing like a hot, steamy mineral bath to wash away your differences, am I right? And now we're like family. Not like I actually joined their family, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Get a load of this motherfucker. This guy's freaking hilarious. Man, I tell you, we'd all get along better if nobody wore any clothes at all. <laughs> I don't know about that one, bud. Tani san Oh, oops. Tani san you've made this the trip of a lifetime. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. You're a total bro. Sayonara. All right then. Guess I'm going out for drinks with the boys now. <laughs> Just cracking open a gold one with the boys. Hope you're ready to drink till sunrise. Oh. <laughs> Kung Fu has redeemed tiny rainbow cowboy hat yet again. You just don't want me to take this thing off, huh? <laughs> Alright, thank you for redeeming your burbs. The hat has returned. 
There's been a chain of car break-ins around here lately. What? You can't be serious. Car break-ins, huh? Well, that sucks. I guess if I see one happening, I'll need to arrest whoever's responsible. I mean, that... That would make sense, right? I mean... You are a police officer. Oh, there's one. Hey, look at that sweet-ass bag. Bet we could make a fortune off of that. People are so careless. If they want us to steal it that bad, then we're happy to oblige. Ha ha ha. Heh heh heh. We're gonna be eating good tonight. Those must be the guys behind all those recent car break-ins. I'd rather not deal with this crap, but I'll get my head chewed off later if I leave the scene of a crime in progress. If I charge in and they run, it'll be too much of a hassle. I should approach quietly so they don't notice me. Oh boy! After the men breaking into the car in front of you, but be careful, they'll notice you if you don't approach quietly. It's time to old man shuffle! Old man shuffle, old man shuffle, old man shuffle. What your boys up to? Just having a. Are y'all window shopping, perhaps? Huh? huh? It won't open. Huh? What do you mean? The other one opened without a hitch. Hey, what are you guys up to? Huh? Oh, we can't get this lock to open. Why won't it budge? Come on! Oh, a remote control key, huh? Is that the key to that car? Maybe it needs a new battery. Hmm... Maybe it needs a new battery? Battery? Might be right. Hey, go to the store and get a new battery. Gotcha. But you have to pay for half, okay? Not a good choice. They really came back? I got it! Alright, let's try it again! Come on, come on! It worked! You're a genius, man. You really helped us out, pal. We appreciate it. Great. By the way, what's your name? Hanimura, of the Kamurocho Police. Oh, cool. You work for the police. That's... Wait a minute. Wouldn't that mean... You're a cop? You bet I am. <laughs> you almost had me for a minute, man. Nice one. Do you want to see my badge? Do you want to see my badge? <laughs> no, no thanks. So, you unlock the door? Is that all you were planning on doing? Well, uh... What the hell are we supposed to do now? The cop is on to us. Oh man, this is awful. He's gonna bust us for sure. Okay, let me try something. Oh. Officer! Yeah? It's true. We were trying to steal the wallet from this car. You caught us fair and square. Hey. Truth is, we already stole another wallet earlier today. Oh yeah? Yesterday too. And the day before that. We're the thieves everybody's been talking about all over town. Yeah, that's us. There. We were honest. We told you everything. Yes, you sure did. Chata, chata. Doesn't that mean anything to you? Your heart isn't moved at all? Huh? What do you mean? I tried to get him to take pity on us, but it didn't work. No, wait. Let me try. Please listen, officer. I've done enough listening. It's time for... You just gotta hear me out! I'm begging you! Uh... Okay, then. We had no choice. No choice, I tell you. He's right. This was the only thing we could do with our lives. Really, now? Uh... What do you mean, we had no choice? I don't know, man. It just popped out. What? Enough already. Just follow me to the station. Shit! We're gonna get arrested! I guess there's no avoiding it now. We ain't going nowhere. We don't give up that easily. What? Are you serious? Ah, fuck it. Let's just get him. <laughs> hey, Sly, welcome. Police, freeze! 
Comfy cannonball. How you doing, Sly? I like this song. Hold on. Rave, Tanimara. Rave to the the beats. Oh no. I'm trying. I'm trying to vibe with this song. Leave me alone. Trying to vibe here. It just keeps grabbing me. <laughs> it's not gonna do anything else, huh? Punch him right in the spine. I don't have my heat up or I do heat. I like this song a lot. We're on normal mode, Ferris. Man, this guy is strong. Yeah, this cop's no joke. He's the real deal. Come on, guys. You know us cops don't have a lot of time on our hands. Please don't make more work for us. Yeah, but officer, you'd be out of a job without criminals like us. You wouldn't want that to happen, right? Yo, wait a minute. If everybody became a good citizen, just think what a great place Kamarocha would be for everybody. Hey, you got a point. Yeah, we should start a movement. We won't do anything bad anymore, and that'll set off a chain reaction. Soon, all of Kamarocha will change. Dude, that's a great idea. I'm glad I chose to team up with you. I made the right choice, for sure. Thank you. I mean it, man. Let's start right away. We're still going to the station. You know that, right? Right. Sorry. Man, what a royal pain in the- Excuse me. Yes? Oh. I think it's, uh... It's been long enough. <laughs> Unless the burbs have something to say about it. Yes? This car, it's mine. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, this is yours? I apologize. I'm from the KPD. I just caught a couple of men trying to break into your car. They were what? Is my car alright? Oh, it looks unscathed. What a relief. There have been a lot of these break-ins lately. Take care, okay? Oh, thank you, officer. Please take this. It's not much, but I want to reward you for your effort. Got a red jewel? Thank you again. Oh my god, 21 has redeemed... Cowboy hat. Tiny rainbow cowboy hat. Alright. It's back! <laughs> Are y'all gonna make me wear this the whole stream? That is a health gauge flashing. Okay, that's the charge. I kind of use that as side jump, but not a lot. Oh yeah, stop moving in battle for heat, right? Your energy, yeah. Or it might mean health. I think it's heat, though. Or we could do this one, make it easier. Uh... Oh, enhances all actions. I actually might get that. I like that one too, but... Yeah, I want to improve the quick steps, but... Man. Oh boy. Uh, I think for now I'll get this one. No, no. No, I'm gonna get quick steps. Okay, okay. I'm just committing. Oh, enhanced parry. Oh, that would be kind of nice. Alright, the only one that's worth one... I think I'll just save it, actually. I'll just save it. No, that's Homeland. I it was up here somewhere. There's another dispatch. Oh. Yeah, here she is. Hi! Tiny Mura-san, what can I help you with? Yes, sparring? 
Want to spar for a bit? Mm. Sounds good. What should we work on today? Let's run through the basics of parrying. Everything starts with the basics, I guess. This is just sparring, so you can't use any weapons or items. Are you ready? Yes. Let's get started then. Oh boy. Can I just be attacking her? She does it. <laughs> I like the song playing. Oh god. We're dancing. Oh, the sound thing too. Sorry about that slide. There you go. <laughs> There's your sound effect. Oh god. So we can't use healing items, right? Yeah. Oh wow. Alright. Ah. Oh god. Jesus Christ, yeah, I might have to try this again. Well, it's forcing me to get better at parrying. Yeah. Ooh. I won! You must have been taking it easy on me, Tanimoto-san. Not a chance. I actually tried pretty hard. Really? Then you're gonna have to double up on your training and try me again. Right. I can't just quit after losing like that, even if this is just sparring. Ooh. That's right. Keep it up. Oh no. Oh, we're left with this health though. Oh. Oh, I don't want to use all my items for that. Oh, I wish they would fix your health afterwards. Oh god. There's a restaurant. I can't see here. Oh god. Tanimoto, I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't know that would happen. Get some trash on the way out. Oh, do you have stuff? Just tariners. Okay. I want to sell that gold plate to the pawn shop at some point. Get some more monies. Okay. Whoops. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Spam that. Nope, nope. Nope, she got me that time. Oh, God. God 
ending. <laughs> chance to get her but she usually just gets it uh she just like turns it around on me oh, <laughs> oh god i do like this song a lot though i know i already said that but i love how sometimes in kind of these side things you actually find hidden music that's really good a hidden gem so to say God! Oh, Jesus. this time. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I didn't quick step far enough. Oh, I might have been able to do it. Okay, maybe one more try. I, I got kind of back. I mean, kind of, kind of close that time. I read Flame's message while I was speaking. <laughs> Oof. That wasn't a good start. I gotta do it near a wall, though. But then she can get me near a wall, too. I've been trying to stay away from the walls. trying to do that to her too. Oh no, she got me. She did to me. Oh. 
Oh, no, no, no. Would have got me that time if I actually got her. It was good that I missed. Tanimasan on a third try. That really taught me a lot. I think I got the hang of parrying now. <laughs> parrying did not save me, but okay. Active parry time increased. Okay. Great job. You have a lot of techniques I've never seen before. Like running around in circles and then just like totally throwing yourself to kick me. <laughs> that was very educational. Glad to be of service. Let's do it again sometime. Ooh. Sounds good. Hey, Nair! Oh, Marcos. How was the investigation? I got some good intel. Huh? Who's this? This is Tanimura-san. He's a Japanese detective, and he's helping us with the investigation. Really? That's great. My name is Marcos. I'm also an investigator. I came to Japan with Nair. I'm Tanimura. Nice to meet you, Marcos. So how about that good intel? Right. Gigi was spotted nearby, at a club frequented by foreigners. Gigi? Good game? The name of our suspect. He uses fake names so no one can track him down. It's short for good game. Oh! It, it is! It's short for good game, like what you'd say after playing a round of something. It's a cynical way to poke fun at the people he beats, I guess. As if it were a game. I see now. Doesn't sound like he takes the police very seriously. Was it? Was it GG in the original, though? Like, is that another, like, modern insert of, uh, like, pop culture? Or is it, uh, just, was that what it was saying before? It just says, I don't have a Nintendo Online membership, but I do. That's weird. Um, maybe it has, you're, like, logging with the wrong account or something? I don't know. Tanimoto would be a lot better if his parry didn't knock them so far away. They can recover before you can punish them. Yeah, yeah. Looks like stress uwus are back on the menu, boys. <laughs> Never underestimate a dropkick. No, I think I remember it being GG back in the original release. Okay. I... Like, I only really started hearing that in, like, the past few years, but uh, I think it does make sense that it's been around longer. I think it might have been something similar. Okay. There's just so many, like, modern pop culture references or jokes or memes that it's like... I can't tell when they're doing that sometimes. Where did you hear that? From this guy who happened to be there. No, you see? Okay, I noticed this before. Her mouth is moving like she's speaking the dialogue, and his mouth isn't moving, but this is his line. So it was happening earlier, like, she's animated for dialogue when no one- when, when someone else is speaking. <laughs> Like right now, look, it's Marcos talking, but she's like, ah, ba 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 ba. <laughs> Apparently, he was drunk and yelling, I'm Gigi at the top of his lungs. <laughs> wow, that's cringe, bro. <laughs> Wait a second, that doesn't necessarily mean he's the same Gigi you guys are looking for. You're right, but it's at least a lead to follow. I'm going over to the club now to find out everything I can. Thanks, Marcos. Let me know if something turns up. Will do. She's a ventriloquist. <laughs> he posted cringe. He is losing subscriber. Just wait. Won't be long now. I forgot. I wanted to ask you something. What? What crime did this Gigi commit? He murdered an entire family and stole their money. And in the most atrocious of ways. Two parents and their son. The crime scene was so horrific, the victims' bodies were unrecognizable. Jesus. He did all that just for money? I don't know. That family did nothing to deserve such a cruel fate. Why do you say that? Perhaps he had some really bad grudge or something. No! No. Not in a million years. There. I just... won't... believe it. Don't tell me. <sighs> oh. 
afraid so. It was my parents and brother that he killed. I was safe at a friend's house that day. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so gloomy all of a sudden. I think it's understandable to be a little bit gloomy when you're talking about your whole family being murdered. No, don't apologize. I'm sorry for making you talk about it. I'm fine. I became a detective for the sole purpose of personally solving this case. How long has it been unsolved? I don't know if she mentioned it before. Don't look so upset. We have to stay sharp. Right. Come back to spar again, okay? I'll show you how a real fighter does it next time. Hehehe. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Maybe this cop knows? Oh, no. In, off, in the building, oh, in the building behind the drugstore. Maybe over here. Oh, yeah. What's the situation? We've chased down a suspect who brandished a gun on the street, but every time we get close, he starts shooting at us. Some small time crook with his back to the wall? I'll take care of it. I'm with the police. Why don't you just come quietly? You'll make things easier for the both of us. Ugh, another pig? <gasps> no biggie, I can take you. Bring it on! I don't know what it's for, it's probably for making armor and weapons. Or it's like a minigame item. Oh! Can't parry a bullet, now can you? Ooh! Yeah, I love that he can do this now. Phew. Now to just hand him over. Man, what a pain. He stopped his foot again. Hey, let's go. <laughs> it's past my nap time! We managed to arrest him. It was all thanks to you, Tanimura-san. Please take this as thanks for all the help. In some money! Checking each car. Does the key fit? Nope. Let's try another one. Okay, so basically a car that has its trunk facing out. Yeah. I can't even remember if uh, there was a specific description for the car given or anything, but... I know it's in the trunk of the car. So this one. So it's gonna be all like the dark blue cars. Oh, this one's different. That's it. It opened. And there's that briefcase, just like Yasuko-san said. You got the briefcase. Okay, so I've got a briefcase loaded to the brim with yen. 100 million yen, in fact. This is good. All that's left is figuring out how to get in touch with Katsuragi. Get in touch with Katsuragi! Now, what's the easiest way for a community safety officer to reach a powerful member of the Yakuza? Never thought I'd ask myself that. This is a dangerous situation we're in. We just have a bunch of money. Okay. Uh, let me get out of here first, I guess. Can I take a taxi out somewhere? Let's go golfing! <laughs> okay, let's just go... Let's just go there. That's close by, but... Hello? Hanimura-san, right? Yeah, that's me. You are? Heh, <laughs> that's not important. Let's just cut to the chase. You want info on Katsuraki, don't you? How did you- It's my job to know that sort of thing. As such, it works only to my benefit to funnel information to you, florist? That's... fine. But why should I believe some random caller who could be a total scammer for all I know? Good point. Bye. <laughs> Except, you don't have anywhere else to turn right now, do you? Not really. That's what I thought. Now, do you want that information or not? Of course, you could always hang up and be on your way. Well, let's hear what you have to say. Smart man. Only thing is, nothing in life is free. 
What? You're giving me a quote already? Everything has its price, officer. But I'm not interested in your money. I just want to see how good of a detective you are. You'll be receiving a message from me shortly. Open it up, read it, and follow the instructions. Very self-explanatory. Well, best of luck. Hey, we're not done yet. Beep. Golfing with 100 million yen! So smart! An informant awaits you where this site can be seen. Get over there on the double. Uh, hmm, okay. So I want to go to the roof. Oh, I think that's where uh, Akiyama's trainer was, maybe? Okay, we have to go to the roofs. Of course! We are once again being forced to go up onto the rooftops. Uh, let me get there, over there. Yes. I feel a little bit stressed carrying all this money around. I don't want to get into a fight. I don't know what would happen. Probably nothing. Up here. Oh, oh here. should be... Okay, we have to see, like, the castle-looking building, so that it's over there. I think it's just that spot right next to us. The clothes. It's pretty close to it. And it has a green floor. High up here. Yeah. Hello? It is the florist. Are you Tanimono-san? That I am. You're the one who called me? I don't know anything about a call. My boss just told me to come here and give this to you. Here, take it. <laughs> is that the proper way to hand off a bouquet, like, completely sideways? <laughs> What's this for? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you got a secret admirer? Either way, it's yours now. Bouquet of flowers? I don't get it. Bouquet? Wait, there's a note inside. It says, Well done, gumshoe. You take after your papa more than I expected. I suppose I should uphold my end of the bargain. You'll be getting a call from Katsuragi soon. What you do next is up to you. Just see that you don't waste this chance. Ooh! We'll leave him on red. どうして私に連絡を25年前の事件のことだ。あんたはまだ西島康子が必要なはずだ。違うか。それで私にどうしろと。俺は西島康子の身柄は渡せ。どうだ。25年前の真相を俺に教えてくれないか。条件があります。条件。私としても刑事さんであるあなたに部活なことは話せない。それに電話ではあなたが西島康子の身柄を拘束しているという確認もできない。あ
いいでしょうお会いしましょう明日でどうだ構いません場所はカムロ町ミレニアムタワーの前で17時<笑>どうやら頭のいい方のようだ一番人通りの多い場所と時間公衆の面前なら襲われる危険も少ない He may be a baby, but he ain't dumb. いいでしょう5時ミレニアムタワー前先に使いの者に1億を確認させますそれでもいいですか構わないでは明日 I like the way Katsuragi's voice actor delivers his lines. Very villainy. I'm meeting Katsuragi tomorrow at 5 p.m. I think I'll go rest at Homeland till then. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure I don't get to a point where I can't just keep doing sub stories. But according to the walkthrough, I have to do something with this cache before I can do any of those sub stories, so I've not reached that point yet. Let's go back to Little Asia. Be up here. I should know the map like the back of my hand at this point, but I just really don't want to get lost. So I just keep referring to the map. Uh, there's my trash. Thank you. Does that mean he's a baby genius? <laughs> I, I guess so. <laughs> he's a baby Einstein. Oh, I haven't gone in from here before. Oh, Hello. Yes, I'm out here. Oh, there is a place to get stamina ends. Okay. I actually don't need any right now. But thanks. I like this little plant here. I like that. More trash. Oh, I don't think we can. Can we get to it from here? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> this is a dead end? I think so. I have been in here, it was like towards the beginning and I don't remember it. More trash! So much trash. Uh... Can I get out of here? Oh, I can go this way. Oh no, I can't. Oh, it's over here. I think we are stuck in here. Okay, let me go back. Got some trash! I wonder if that's the whole point of that place, is just to get more trash. Okay, let's enter from a different place, or... Oh, well, unless we can get to it from... Okay, I'm just gonna go to a place I know. <laughs> Instead of experimenting with this. It is really cool that they modeled all this, though. Like, it is worth looking around, but... It's right over here! Tiny Mara is drunk. Sorry. That's right here. <laughs> ah, Machan. How'd it go? You find the briefcase? Yeah. Took me long enough. Sure wish I'd thought to ask Yasuko-san what her car looked like before she left. Anyway, I got a call from Katsuragi not long after that. We set up a meeting tomorrow. Money. Really? You did? Wow. That's quite the breakthrough. I'm sure he's up to something, though. You'd better be prepared. I will be. In the meantime, you mind holding on to this briefcase for me? Now we can do some sub-stories. Okay, let me save again. Actually, let me put some items away first. Yep. Yes. <laughs> let me put this trash away first. Get it out of here. It's so much garbage. I might mess more with that towards the end of the game. That will be an issue for future Bishy to deal with. Not me! Hmm. It's from Homeland. Hello? Machan! Meihua? What's up? We need you back at Homeland. I literally just left. Hurry! Whoa. Calm down and tell me what happened. 
Just hurry back here now. Something awful has happened. Okay, okay. Be right there. It takes so long to put the phone back away, though. She seemed really rattled. I should head over to Homeland. Oh. Oh. I can't. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I can't rotate the camera. Now it's just jiggling. <laughs> if only I could do his parry and then I could make it a rave. Dang it. Okay, so we can do sub-stories. Now that that is done, more trash. I haven't even really done anything with the garbage, but if I see something I can grab, I'm going to go pick it up. <laughs> okay. Now, it's not showing me any sub stories, but I did see that it showed up in the underground theater area, so I'm just gonna go back there and check it. It should show up on my map if I can do a sub-story anyway, so I think I should just be checking that. If I don't see it, I'll just leave. But according to that walkthrough, I should be able to do stuff now. Yeah, I don't see anything. Maybe I need to go through the other entrance, though. If I really can't find some of these by tonight, I'm gonna try to look up videos or something of other people finding the sub-stories and taking note of where they are exactly. So that way, next week on Tuesday, I can just find all the sub-stories and get through them. Oh, we can't go through there. Never mind. Because according to the walkthrough, we should be able to get to this one now. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I could have gone to Homeland again, right? Because Meihua called me and was like, Hey, Zhao is gone! Or something happened, not that. That already happened earlier. Never mind, let me go back to the... <laughs> Probably supposed to do that first. I just run off. Sometimes. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Going back, sorry. Oh, sorry, Sal. I don't actually know what happened to him. Homeland, homeland. No. Sorry for making you guys wait. I messed up. Oh, Machan. I got here as quick as I could. <laughs> You would have if I wasn't the one playing. <laughs> What's going on? I've never, I've never heard you sound so worried over the phone before. <laughs> the Asian gateway money has gone missing. Uh oh. What? Gone missing? I think you mean you meant we got flat out robbed. Ow. Are you okay, Dad? Yeah, Sao San. What happened? These guys suddenly barged in here and said, Give us the money you're hoarding. I tried to say no. And that's why I look like this. They raided the place in broad daylight, huh? You have any injuries? How about Meihua? I'm fine. And Meihua- Oh, oops. I'm fine. <laughs> and Meihua wasn't here. That's a relief. Machan, they left with this message. You want your money back? Tell the parasite of Camarocho to come alone to the vacant lot across from Public Park 3. Parasite of Kemerocho, huh? Even criminals are calling me that now. What an honor. Well, looks like it's me they're after. Watch on. We can save that money back up again. You don't have to- I do. They're after me. So if I don't go, this will happen over and over. But Machan, it's too dangerous. Uh, I'll be fine. This sort of thing is nothing new to me. But the vacant lot across from Public Park 3. That's far. Guess I'd better start walking. Yeah, I'll be fine. I have another chapter after this. It's not like I can die here. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself, Machan. Okay, across? Yeah. The empty lot across from the public park. Here we go. No. Huh. We've been waiting for you. So you're the parasite of Kamarocho, huh? 
A real pleasure, meeting the most crooked cop in town. You the guys who attacked Homeland? Why did you do it? Huh? Why? You've got some nerve to ask. Our mission is to punish people like you, who prey on the weak. I've heard all sorts of things about you. How you extort piles of money from women who can't go to the cops, for instance. And I know you and that chubby old man are in, it on, it, are in on it together. What do you intend to do with the money? What else but return it to the good, honest people you stole it from? That's why we brought you here, so you can get to telling us their names. <laughs> oh, and we were thinking we should break one or both of your arms for good measure. Otherwise, you'd go right back at it. I see. So, is that all you had to say? Huh? What? Just give me back the money already. You are done talking, right? <laughs> you little prick. You think this is some kind of game? Looks like we're gonna be breaking more than just your arms! We're gonna break your milk bottle, too! Throw him! Okay, actually, I want to look at something. Oh, that's it. Um... Okay, Essence of Guillotine Heal. I know we did these all in a row and then I forgot to look at them. Guillotine Heal. Kill two birds with one stone by using the heal of an enemy you throw to attack another enemy. Triangle when grabbing an enemy with another enemy nearby. Okay. Fall and chain. Grab your enemy's hand and send them spinning. Triangle during an arm grab. Skull crushing. Knock a defenseless opponent in the head and say sweet dreams with this brutal attack. Triangle when grabbing an enemy from behind. So they're all grab based. Okay. Again, now that it's prolonged from the training. But... Alright, now give me the money. I'll never give it back. Not to a dirty scoundrel like you! Who says scoundrel? <laughs> Machan! Meihua, what are you doing here? I was so worried. I just had to come and check on you. And it's not just me. Huh? You good, Tanimura? Makun, please tell me you're okay. We're here for you, big bro. Yeah, now step away from Mach on this instant. You'd better not have hurt him. Oh, Who are all these people? Yeah, these guys had the wrong idea about Tanimura. He's actually like a pretty good person. Some of the things he does I think are morally gray, but you know. A lot of characters in this series do that. I mean, Kiryu wears a gray suit for a good reason. I apologize. It looks like I made a terrible mistake. Could you believe some stupid rumors? And you better apologize to my dad, too. I... I'm sorry. Please forgive me, sir. That's enough, Meihua. It looks like it was just a misunderstanding. Maybe, but he just called you a chubby old man a few minutes ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> Beat him up, Zhao. But you were in the wrong, too, Machan. You knew it was a misunderstanding right from the start. You should have talked it out instead of fighting. Yeah, guess you're right. It's just that negotiation's such a hassle. <laughs> oh, Machan. So, Yanagi. Yes? All that talk about helping the weak just now. Was that for real? For real? Of course. He's already helped out plenty of people in this town. This time was a bit of a clusterfuck, though. <laughs> Alright then. Starting today, you're going to be helping the Asian Gateway. <laughs> what? <sighs> I imagine that you've been using those same violent methods that you use today in order to help people, correct? That may be one way of doing things, but too many things could go wrong. I can't just sit by and watch that happen. All in all, I do believe we have the same goal. So, we should be working together, don't you think? Well, 
You forgive us for what happened today? Uh. We're not the Yakuza. As far as I'm concerned, what happened today is over and done with. So will you agree to help? Uh. I'd be honored to. <laughs> okay, then I'll teach you all about what the Asian Gateway does. From here on out, you'll be my official understudy. Sure. Looking forward to it. Hey, I'm really sorry about today. Please take this as my apology to you. Got a ruby! Come on, we've got a lot of work to do. Coming! A man of the people! Okay, but Kiryu is like really like great. I mean, yeah. Yes. Yes. But still great. Okay. Um. We need to do sub stories? Maybe now they'll pop up? It's not even showing me plot right now. Okay, let's try going to the underground theater again. <laughs> Remember, folks, being morally gray means you do crimes, but you're also hot. Good person, but also hot. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Is something wrong? We've got some graffiti artists on our hands. That's been happening for a while now, hasn't it? Around Little Asia. No, this time it's different. What do you mean? It's written in Chinese, Korean, and even Thai. That's such a surprise. Japanese is like a foreign language in this part of town. I can't argue with that, but I'm concerned about the people who wrote it. Do you know who they are? Huh? Yeah. It's probably some of our kids. How do you know? Because they wrote stuff like, I hate Japan for sending my dad away. And the Japanese don't think of us as people. Really sad things like that. You really think the Asian Gateway kids would do that? Hmm. I really don't know. But since the kids in the Asian Gateway are left without parents, I'm not sure who else it could be. That's true. Alright, I'm gonna try and find out who's doing it and have a little talk with them. For starters, where is all this graffiti? One's at the north entrance to Little Asia, another's on a building across from Homeland, and the last one should be at the entrance to Little Asia from East Taihei Boulevard. I'm gonna write this down just in case it doesn't tell me in the sub-story description. Okay, North Little Asia. That'll probably be the first one we look at. Building across from Homeland is like right next to us. Maybe I don't need to write this down, but... And then... East Taihei entrance. Okay. They usually paint their graffiti about this time, when we're busy getting ready to open up shop for the day. Okay, I'll start off with the north entrance to Little Asia. But if I do catch somebody, I wouldn't want the other kids to see. Uh. Good thinking. Don't take them to the Asian Gateway, then. Bring them to West Park. I'll be waiting there. Got it. See you later, then. Okay, so the north entrance... Should be this. It'll probably be inside the hall there. Let's see. Oh, there. Is that you, Nui? Uh oh. oh. Wait. Man, that kid's fast. I doubt he'll leave Little Asia, but there are so many places he could hide around here. Oh no, we're playing hide and seek? Find Nui. When you find out where Nui is hiding, press R3 to switch to a first person's perspective. Just looking at him will make him come out of hiding. Oh boy! This place is a nightmare for people with claustrophobia. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I know there's a good sub-story that happens in the casino, but I'm not sure what chapter it unlocks in. For Tenimura, I don't remember that. 
I do have a walkthrough pulled up, and I'm trying to do as many sub-stories as I can. Um, there was a sub-story that had to do with the Dragon Palace. And then, yeah, I remember a Saejima sub-story that happened at the casino, I think, where he was like a bodyguard, like a bouncer or something. I remember that. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna keep using the walkthrough, and hopefully I won't really skip any important sub-stories, I guess? So I just need to find him. I might have passed him already. Oh, sweet god. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Unless he was out in the open back there and I didn't see him. <laughs> totally possible. More garbage. Oh. Yeah, send away the cylindri cylindrical garbage. <laughs> Flashback to when we played hide and seek at Morning Glory and Tai Chi hit on the roof because he's extra, yes. <laughs> I couldn't find him for so long. God damn it, Tai Chi. Dang it. That's just a person sleeping. I don't think he's gonna be up here. I'm checking anyway, but more garbage. Oh, here on the ground. I just I miss these sometimes. Like, going back and editing my previous Yakuza streams, I will notice keys that I'm just running right past. But when I'm streaming, I just- I don't really see stuff, I guess. Not all the time. I'm just so, like, laser-focused in the gamer mode, you know? <laughs> okay, where is he? I might have passed him. I could just, like, open up R3 and look around. It looked like he went this way, but... <laughs> Is he in the garbage? I was losing my mind watching that VOD when I knew where he was and Vishy would be so close to turn the camera towards him and then looked away! <laughs> Listen! <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> I didn't see him up there! There was even a point where I... I think I thought out loud I wonder if he's on the roof. Nah, that'd be too crazy. <laughs> and then I didn't even look. <laughs> Maybe he's like down here. Oh, I thought that was him just lounging, waiting for me to find him. <laughs> is is he on the roofs? <laughs> is he on the wall like Spider-Man? <laughs> I bet I ran past him. I think I've gone through the entire area of the map, right? Uh. Okay, let's do... This area I've looked around quite a bit. I don't think he'll be down here. Unless he is secretly three children in a trench coat. <gasps> he was behind the guy! He was behind! <laughs> See, I have run past him like a hundred times. He was behind the guy that I thought was three kids in a trench coat! <laughs> My meme saved me! <laughs> you can't hide there forever, you know. Yikes! You found me! Look, I'm not mad at you or anything, but I need to know why you've been tagging. Will you tell me? I'm not telling anything! Come on, I promise I won't get you in trouble. I just want to hear your side of things. So could you wait for me in West Park for a little while? Is that okay with you? Oh. Whatever. Fine. You've actually found a person that's more baby than Tanimura. An actual... baby. <laughs> actual child. Next is the building across from Homeland. Building across from Homeland. Um... So somewhere along here. Oh, here. Oh. Big bro? What are you doing with that? They always run. Hey. Oh, come on. How did this kid get so quick? Well, I'm sure he's still in Little Asia, but it is like a maze in here. I'll need to look carefully. Find Tao. When you find out where Tao is missing, or hiding, Press R3 to switch to a first person perspective, just looking at him, blah 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 blah. Okay. I didn't hear! I'm 
Jesus. Look everywhere. Go there, or we can go here. He went in this direction. Is he on the walls? Yeah, so we can go this way. Oh. I saw a little dot. Oh! Okay, so a little dialogue with ellipses will pop up when he's nearby. It's kind of like a hint. Okay. I didn't notice that before. I see you. Found you, Tao. You scared me! Hey, calm down. I didn't do anything, I swear. You were about to tag this place up, weren't you? I'm guessing you've been at this for a while now. How'd you know? We'll talk about it later. For now, just go to West Park and wait there for me, okay? Okay. Okay, one more. Last is the entrance to Little Asia from East Taihei Boulevard. Okay. East Taihei, huh? We looked up this way. Assuming I gotta go this way. This is just, uh, air. Yeah. We'll just go in here, let me see. I think it'd be easier if I just leave and go find the entrance. Okay, so, East Titan Boulevard. Oh, it is here. Okay. This was right. Be somewhere around here. Oh, here you. Here he is. With his little scarf. Young, we need to talk. Dad. Eek. Hey, wait a second. I swear, these kids are way too sneaky for their own good. Guess I'll just have to keep looking. Find Mion. When you find out where Mion is hiding... Yep. That's not right. Okay, she went this way. Yeah, I realize that now. Uh, oh, no, we just went in a circle. Even in the trash piles. Could go this way. Oh, no. There's a dead end. G down here. No. Guess we could check where Nair is. Blocked off. Is she hiding over here? <laughs> oh, oh. She's nearby. Yeah, she's like right around here somewhere. Oh, okay, so one of the kids was hiding up somewhere high. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad I noticed the ellipses. All right, Mion. Come on over here. Dad? No. How'd you spot me? She's the Taichi of the group, yes. I found her a lot faster than I found Taichi, though. That's for sure. <laughs> you want to tell me what's going on? Yeah. No, and don't try and boss me around. You're not my dad. Look. I feel for you, but you need to think about what you're doing. Oh yeah? How would you know how I feel? Believe me, you and I aren't all that different. Huh? Really? Yeah. Now, Nui and Tao are waiting in West Park. I want to hear the story from all three of you. Come on, let's get going. Oh. Okay. Oi. 
fishy with all the brain cells. I didn't even realize the little hint when I played. It took me forever to find that girl. <laughs> it's okay. It only pops up for like a like a split second. Um, I didn't notice it with the first kid, but with the second one I did. And I don't I don't know if that was a thing for Taichi. I don't know if they did that in Y3. <laughs> And I just didn't notice. I usually don't notice the little dialogue boxes that pop up. I kind of just ignore them. Uh, but that time, I'm glad I saw something. You're not my dad! The graffiti you kids have been spraying is causing trouble for a lot of people. Do you understand? <laughs> Go easy on them, dad. Yeah. No, they need to hear the truth. They're just kids, saw son Getting angry won't help. He just looks at me. Boy. Mion, you come here right now. Why don't we hear their side of the story first? Alright, guys. Where's all this negativity about Japan coming from? Because it was the Japanese who sent my daddy back to China. And my daddy to Korea. My mommy to Thailand. And that's why we're all alone now. It's like Japan doesn't care what happens to us at all. Yeah, it's like we're invisible to everyone but us. That's why Japan sucks. That's why we did the graffiti. No one pays attention to us kids, but they sure wake up when they see paint all over their walls. Guys, I understand how you feel. No, you don't, you big liar! Yes, I do. I actually felt the same way as you, back when I was your age. What? No joke. I seriously hated this country. You did? Yep. But I realized something when I got older. It's not this country's fault. Ah. What? You're gonna tell me it was my dad's fault now? No. It's not your parents' fault either. Mm. But it has to be somebody's fault. Look at how miserable we are. The answer is, it's nobody's fault. When people are born poor, or lose their parents, or something terrible like that, they tend to try and blame someone. They blame Japan, or they blame the laws. You see where I'm going with this, right? You're blaming Japan because you don't know what to take your anger out on. Listen, we're all people, whether we're Japanese or Chinese or whatever. Every one of us has the potential to become rich or be happy. All we have to do is work for it. Really? That's right. We all have troubles in our lives, and there's no one on this planet, no one, that doesn't. But blaming those troubles on others and complaining about them won't solve anything. To stop this ridiculous graffiti, study hard, and set yourself some goals. If you really put your effort into it, pretty soon you can start making things better for yourself and earn people's respect. Am I making sense to you guys? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, now that we're all on the same page, how about I make something special for dinner? Your taste buds won't believe what hit them. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Race you to the Asian gateway. <laughs> all is well! <laughs> This was a good learning experience for those kids. I hope so. Those kids have a harsh reality to face. It's only a matter of time before they'll have to deal with their situation as adults, and that doesn't always turn out pretty. Yeah. Don't worry so much, Machan. That's why the Asian Gateway is here, right? Do for them what only we can do? It's one thing to have faith in the future generation, and another to put that faith to work. Okay. Another sub story done. I have been here, though. Maybe he's over there. Oh, he's over here. I didn't see him. Okay. There. They're after me. Men. In suits. Everywhere. They're gonna find me and they're gonna kill me and they're gonna dump me in Tokyo Bay with their dry-cleaned perfect suits. Hey, is there a valid reason you're down here talking to yourself in front of a bunch of garbage cans? Please tell me there is. <laughs> I like how sassy he is. Where did you come from? Are you one of them? It can't be. You look more like an actor than an assassin. Ah, uh, I mean, I take that back. Please, please spare me. Dude, chill. Relax, I'm not an assassin and I'm not acting. I'm a cop and I'm here to question a suspicious character. You're a cop? Oh, thank goodness. The savior has heard my cries. You are here to save me, right? I mean, I can at least try to help. Who do you think is after you? Well, I usually draw portraits for people on Port Park Boulevard, right? The other day there was a robbery at a Yakuza office there. 
Mm. Doesn't ring a bell. And you call yourself a cop? Look, I was right there when it happened, and I saw the face of one of the criminals. Okay. And you should go and report it at the police station. One of the uniformed officers there will help you. Forget it. I'm lucky to be alive. I'm not going outside until each and every one of those robbers is locked up for good. I could step forward and maybe some of them would get arrested, but what if I got killed by the others on the way to court to testify? You watch too many gangster films. Huh? My life is in danger, I tell you. And you cops are too busy sipping on coffee and scarfing down donuts to notice a bunch of robbers are loose in theater square as we speak. They are? Right now? Huh. Yes! Or if you're like Tiny Mura, you're not busy drinking coffee and eating donuts, you're busy gambling. And checking people down for money. But I digress. Yes! Go arrest all of them! Save me! For great justice! Okay. I kinda have been slacking lately. This might be a good chance to earn some points back at HQ. Fine, I'll go get them. But you have to show me where they are. What? You want me to go too? No way! What if I get killed? But you're the only one who knows the perp's face. Yeah, and I drew a picture of it, so why don't you use that instead of dragging me to my death? He looks like this. He's wearing a black jacket, and he's at Theater Square. Alright, he's got the mustache, and the goatee, and shaggy hair. Let's go. You got an artist's likeness! Fair enough. I'll go see for myself, then. Thank you so much! You're one hell of an officer, you know that? And a handsome one to boot! <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright. There's a group of foreigners over there. Huh? Oh? There he is. I saw him. What is this, a family reunion? Everybody's face looks the same. He said black jacket. Uh, should be that guy. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't just bring my PlayStation with me like- Oh, with me last week. I've never been so bored in my life. Oh no, Brandon, I'm sorry. Could you go get it and then bring it back? Or is it like too much of a distance to do that? This might seem like a stupid question, but how does Twitch determine your username color? Yeah, you can customize it. You can change it in your settings. Yeah, like mine, I've made it uh, a yellow color. So my username's supposed to be yellow in, in every chat I go to. I think it's just random. I got red, which seems really lucky. <laughs> I would never wear that hat. Too many gangster films. Look, it's Brandon! <laughs> Gangster films are the bomb. I'm with you, Brandon. Oh, okay, you went to go get your PlayStation yesterday before they put the whole state on lockdown. Okay, great. Alright. Awesome. And you do have some entertainment. I'm sorry that you've been so bored lately, though. But at least you have it now. Hey, you. Huh? What do you want? I'm with the police. You were involved in a robbery, weren't you? I'm placing you under arrest. <laughs> what? Me? You must be mistaken, officer. I haven't robbed a soul. Just look at these innocent eyes. He's denying it, but his face and jacket are exactly what the artist described. Maybe I should press him a little further. Yeah? Then if what you're saying is true, show me what's inside that jacket. Shouldn't be a big deal. Unless, of course... You have done something suspicious. Unless... Huh? You want to peek inside the jacket, huh? Damn it! How'd you know it was me? I was sure nobody saw my face! Yeah, well, maybe you weren't as careful as you thought. Now I suggest you come along quietly. Damn! We went to all that trouble fighting the Yakuza to get those weapons. No way in hell we're gonna get busted before we even use them. Why does he have a Brooklyn accent? I don't know. <laughs> Fate! Fate and chance. Whoa. He bounced. I can't grab him. Uh oh! Somebody have a gun! Now we don't. I 
like how he just punches them in the spine. <laughs> At the important stuff. PlayStation, some vinyls, and a copy of Superbad. Obviously prepared for the apocalypse. That's all you need. This guy's even stronger than the Yakuza. What the hell? Hey, are you alright? Don't worry, I'm here to help. Very convenient timing. Well, I just appreciate you saving me. About that. Turns out, no one saw you in the first place. Anyway, I've already called the station. These guys are going straight to prison. Now I can work above ground and sell my art in peace. Here, take this. It's my gift to you. Blackjack Emerald. Well, back to work for me. Alright. This beat cop stuff really does tire you out. I don't like being a police officer. I just want to go around gambling. Oh, got some points. Let me spend those. And I think we have one more sub story, and that might be all we have time for. Oh, I think it's actually popped up on the map for me. Convenient. All right. Um. Don't know about that. Don't know about that. About that. Was there a heat thing I wanted? Yes! I think I'll get this one. And then I think there's some quick stepping I can get that I don't have yet. Double evasion. Yeah. I get that. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, there it is. It's actually right here. You're playing as a cop? Yes. This is Tanimura. He is basically a crooked cop. He is not like a terrible person, but he does shake businesses down for money. Um, but they are typically unethical businesses, so I don't know. Take that as you will. Uh, and he also gambles a lot, and he has a baby face, so we keep calling him Babby. He is a baby. Okay, uh... Oh yeah, we have enough for this. Oh, pack. Still don't know what to do with those. I don't- I don't know what to use them for, but thanks. What should I do? I can't even walk down the street. Time for Babby Cop. <laughs> we should have just been calling him Babby Cop this whole time. <laughs> that lady looks like she could use a little help. Guess it wouldn't kill me to act like a cop every now and then. <laughs> I guess I'll do my job sometimes. I like the mint suit. I'm feeling the mint suit, ma'am. Everything okay, miss? You were talking to yourself just now. Huh? Oh, no, I wasn't. Uh... Ah, didn't mean to surprise you. I'm with the KPD. Is there anything I can help with? You're an officer? Then please, hear me out. <sighs> I'm on my way to work, but I feel like somebody's going to ambush me. I'm so scared, I don't know what to do. Makes sense why you'd be on edge. Where... where is it you work? In the Hida 9 building on Theater Alley. Oh, that's right around the corner. I'd be happy to walk you there. Really? Thank you so much. I don't see anyone suspicious. Has somebody been following you? Hi. Yeah, I feel like somebody's watching me on the way to and from work. I'm sure it's a stalker. That's not good. Have you notified the police already? Yes. They put this area on their patrol route, and that did help for a while. But now I can't help but feel like there's a set of eyes on me again. What's more, it isn't from the street this time around. I feel like someone's watching me from above. What do you mean? Hi. Well, whenever I leave my workplace, I see this mysterious silhouette on the top of that building over there. I feel like that shadow is following me from rooftop to rooftop, all the way home. At this rate, I can't even leave my own home. I know it's a lot to ask, but... you think you could go inspect the roof of that building while I'm at work? The roof, huh? It's not exactly a normal patrol route. And unfortunately, we're rather limited to what we can investigate unless there's a warrant or some kind of proof. 
They said the same thing at the police station. Look, I moved out here from the country not too long ago, and I'm not well adjusted to city life. It's terrifying here. Especially in a place like Camarocho. I'll, I'll even pay you if, you if I have to. Just please, take a look at the roof of that pachinko parlor building and I'll be out of your hair for good. Alright, if it worries you that much, then I'll go see what's up. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Here, take down my number so you can call me if something comes up. Would that be an issue? Not at all. Hopefully it's nothing. So, the roof of the pachinko parlor building on Theater Alley and West Taihei Boulevard. I remember there being rooftop access from the multi-tenant buildings on both Theater Avenue and Tenkaichi Street. Okay, Theater Avenue. Let's go there. Yeah. So right here. Yeah. Now we play the waiting game. That didn't last very long. <laughs> A very short game. Is that the stalker? Why is he shuffling? Hey, what are you doing up here? I'm, uh, mind your own business. Hold it right there. Oh, I was gonna be like, oh, he's not gonna do that. Oh, he did. I think we've done a chase sequence on the roof since Akiyama was away from the police. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh god, where'd he go? Come here! Don't play Ring Around the Rosie with me! That's my move! It's actually pretty good that he was in here. Yeah, get back in there. Whoop. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Stairs! Confounded again by stairs. Come here. Oh, dang it. I thought he was really tired. <laughs> he just keeps going in here, going in circles. he just made. <laughs> it was like a snarl. <laughs> what was that? Ah, cornered you. Man, you were a pain in the ass just now. Time to give that lady a call. Hello? Yes. This is Tanimoto from the KPD. I caught your stalker. did? Yeah, he was shuffling around up here doing, well, something shady. Emmy, wait a second. This is my brother. Huh? I'm sorry, Tanimura-san. Looks like my family was trying to protect me after they heard somebody was following me. You didn't have to be so damn sneaky about it. But I was afraid she was gonna yell at me for being overprotective. I'm really sorry for causing this whole mess. Please accept this as a token of my apology. Rab. <laughs> Got a copy of Shocking Spy Gear exposed! Well, at least you have a family that loves you. Maybe a little too much. I was like, I mean, I, I don't have a loving family, but I mean, at least you have one, right? Be happy. Be glad about your situation. <laughs> I just did what any caring older brother would do. I have no regrets. <laughs> Shakes his head. So, thank you all so much for being here with me today. I had fun. And I hope you all have a great night, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>